All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at Jerry Garcia's solo on Scarlet Begonias from 10-19-1974. So this was recorded at the Winterland, and uh, you can find the performance on YouTube. All right, so I thought this would be a great solo because um, if you saw my other video, I did the solo from Mars Hotel. And Mars Hotel was recorded about six months earlier than this performance. And so at, during the From the Mars Hotel sessions, um, the song was brand new and it was just starting to be developed. All right, so about six months later, you can see how there's a lot of similarities to the Mars Hotel version, but there's also a lot of development, a lot of exploration that Jerry's already started, especially with chord shapes. So similar to the... Um, Mars Hotel version in like 1974 Scarlet Begonias, um, he's only playing through the chord changes one time. All right, so here's the first phrase from this Winterland version. All right, slower. Alright, so if you compare that to the Mars Hotel version... It starts off based around the melody. So we start off 16th to 17th fret, slide on the 2nd string. Then we play the 17th fret 3 more times. Then again, and then again, but pull off to the 16th fret then 17, 19 on the second string. We're gonna pull off 19, 17, 16, then hammer back on 17 on the second fret. Then we have some cool uh, sequence type stuff that Jerry would do a lot. This is 19, 17, 16 on the second string. And we have 19, 17, 16 on the first string, 19 on the second. Then 17, 16 on the first string, 19 on the second. And we're going to do that pull off hammer on again. 19, 17, 16 pull off, hammer back onto the 17. Then our next phrase goes like this. Alright, so again, we're starting on the 17th fret. This is kind of based around that melody. And we're going to play 17th fret on the 2nd string, then 17, 16, 17. Then 19, 16 on the 1st string. 17 on the second. So again, kind of look at this E triad. All right, so we have then 19 on the second, 16 on the first, and we're gonna pull off 19 to 17 on the second, 17 to 16 on the second, and then 18 on the third. Then we land on the 16th fret of the 3rd string. 
Then we have 16, 18 on the third, 16 on the second, 18, 16 on the third, 16 on the second. Then we pull off 18 to 16 on the third string, play the 16th again, then pull off 18 to 16 on the third, and then play the 18th of the fourth and slide. It's a C natural, and so we're that's going to lead us into the C sharp, the 16th fret on the 5th string. So we're playing flat 3rd to major 3rd for the A. That note anticipates the A chord. Then we play 14th frets of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. So that's a, an A triad, but extended a little bit because we have the 3rd, 5th, root, third, and then we're going to play the D, the 15th fret of the second string. So similar to the Mars Hotel version where we would, he played that, the fourth of an A chord. We're doing the same thing but just in this position now. So we have So that's twice, 15, 14, pull off on the second string twice. Then we're going to slide from the 14th fret of the second string to the 12th fret. So we had that A chord, an A triad, and we're going to play E, so we have the 14th fret of the 4th, 13th fret of the 3rd, and then 12th fret of the 2nd and 1st string. You make that shape. So we have 12th fret on the 2nd string, 13th fret on the 3rd, 14th fret on the 4th string, then back to the 13th fret on the 2nd. And then we're going to make our B triad shape. That's the 13th fret on the 4th string. 11th fret on the 3rd um, and 12th on the 2nd. But we land on that 12th fret on the 2nd string. Then we play 11th on the 3rd, 13th fret on the 4th. down um, two frets so that our second string is the tenth fret, third string is the ninth fret, fourth string is the eleventh fret. We're going to play ten on the second, nine on the third, eleven on the fourth, nine on the third, then pull off ten to nine on the second, then the ninth frets of the fourth, third, and second strings. We have our E triad now for the E chord. So we are playing A, E, B, e, A, E. And we take our bar up here to the 14th fret of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. So now we have an A. So we play 14 on the 4th, 3rd, 2nd and pull off 15 to 14 on the 2nd string, then 16th fret on the 3rd, 14 on the 2nd. Then we have our E chord, so we're going to play 12th on the 2nd, 13th on the 3rd, then 14th fret on the 4th and 5th strings. Then we have 12 on the 2nd, 12, 11 on the second. So we make our B triad shape for this. Then we're 
we're going to play the 13th fret on the 4th string, slide down to the 11th on the 4th, and we're taking that shape with us, so now we're playing an A triad, and then we can play 9 on the 3rd, 10 on the 2nd, then 9 on the 3rd, 10 on the 2nd, 9 on the 3rd, then the 9th frets of the 3rd and 2nd strings. So now this is part of our E triad, back over the E chord, then 9, 10 pull off 9 on the 2nd, 11 on the 3rd. Then we have this cool ending phrase, so for the two bars of B that lead back into the E of the verse, we have... So it's a um, descending line with B stays on the top, and then the, we have this descending line. So after we play this 11th fret on the 3rd string after the E, we're playing that 11th fret again, and we're going to play the 12th fret on the 2nd string, then we take our index finger and we play the 11th fret on the 1st string. Then we have the 12th fret on the 2nd, so we're going to leave, we're going to keep that there. So we play that again, then we play the 13th fret on the 3rd string, 12 on the 2nd, 11th fret on the 3rd, 11th fret on the 3rd again, 12th fret on the 2nd, 14th on the 4th, 14 again, 11 on the 3rd, 13 on the 4th, 11 on the 4th. Alright, let's put that whole thing together. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time.